What's going on today? We're going to show you the simple forex strategy and we're going to break it down really simple for those who may be beginners or intermediates or even seasoned traders. We're going to make it very simple to understand and we're going to teach you in three simple steps. We're going to show three examples of the strategy and then we're going to go through and find three trades live with you guys so you can see how it works when you're trying to find these trades. And then we're going to go through it with you guys live and we're going to do some back testing to show you exactly how you find these trades. So let's dive right into the first three steps for the simple forex strategy. OK, so today I wanted to break it down and make it really simple for most people to understand. So I broke it down into a simple three step process and let's dive into that right now. So the first part of the strategy is finding a true break of a higher low or a lower high. So, for example, in this example we have here, we have a downtrend. And here we have a lower high. And as you can see, I marked out the lower high here. And as it comes up, it breaks through the lower high that we marked here. This is the first step of the simple forex strategy. You want to find a break of a lower high or a higher low, depending on if it's an uptrend or a downtrend. Um, but not just any kind of break. It needs to be a true break. And I'm going to define that a little later as I show you the examples. But the key here is to pay attention for the lower high or the higher low to get broken. After that, it's a simple pullback. And I'm going to dive into that further as well and show you a good way to find where price will pull back to before you can enter. And then from there on, figure out where you want to take profit. So it's a really simple strategy overall. Now there's little things that we have to learn along the way, and we're going to dive into that right now. So we're going to go ahead on the charts and show you three examples of the strategy. So that way we can get it engraved in your head. And then we'll go and do some back testing to figure out kind of how to walk you through it if you're looking for a trade. Uh, so for the first example here, we can use Euro JPY. So you're going to look for something like this where you have a nice little uptrend and you're going to be waiting for price to break a higher low. Now, how do we define what a real higher low is? Well, this is where we bring in a nice and simple indicator to use. This is going to be a nice and simple indicator to use. All you have to do to find out the higher low is make sure these points like here line up with the red areas on the charts. So, for example, right here, we have a higher low. As long as it lines up on the indicator, it is for sure a true higher low. Now, if you're looking to add this, this is just an MACD. There's many different MACDs out there. You can add whichever one you want, but you just come here to indicator, type in MACD or moving average convergence divergence. Once you have that added, you just make sure that these higher lows actually line up with the red zone on the MACD. This basically just confirms that this is a true low because sometimes people might think something like this is a true low. But as you can see, this doesn't line up with the low. It lines up with the high. Sometimes you can mistake it for a low and get into a bad trade. OK, so now that we have a higher low here, we're just going to mark it out and see if price can make a true break of that higher low. And a true break is defined by seeing one breakout candle, such as this right here. Uh, we just want to make sure that it's actually broken out. So a candle like this, this is our break breakout candle. And then we want to make sure that we see a candle actually close below the very bottom of that candle. So we're going to play it ahead here. And as you can see, we have a candle that has closed below the breakout candle. So this is considered a true break. Sometimes what you have is called a fake out where a candle will where a candle will actually push out, but then immediately go back down. And some people get tricked and then price will keep continuing higher. So this just confirms that it is a true break and we will start to see momentum shift to the downside. So step one has been executed. We saw a true break of a higher low. Now, step two is going to be finding out where price is going to pull back to. And this is where we add the volume profile. Uh, you know, if you want to go watch the video I just posted before this one, it's all about the volume profile. But today we're going to show you how important it is for your entries. So if you add the volume profile slash fixed range, there's many different volume profiles you can use. But what we're going to pay attention to is everything from this break line and up. We're going to pay attention here. So we have three kind of higher volume areas that we could see price going to. And what we want to look out for is mainly the area with the most volume. So as we can see, it's going to be an area like this. And we also want to pay attention to the highest area, an area like this. So for us, this could be two areas that price could come back into uh, and where we most likely will see price pull back to. 
So if we have these areas marked, price is most likely going to pull back into those areas. So that's where we're going to look to take our trade. So when you're about to take your trade, you could either choose to place it further back and risk not getting the trade. You could place it on the very first one if you want to do. You could place it in the middle, whatever risk you're willing to take. But I like to get in this trade. So we're going to place it at the very first zone here. And then we're going to make sure our stop loss is well above that second zone, at least 20 or so pips. Let's do 25. Now, for when it comes to our take profit, this is totally up to you. You can use static. You can do your research and development to find out where you want to exit. We're just going to go with a nice little static one to three risk to reward ratio here. Now, before we enter this trade, if you want to start applying strategies or or techniques while trading and you want to start trading and get a live account funded today, go ahead and sign up with Hanko Trade. Hanko Trade is a forex broker that offers many different account types for what trading style you're into, whether you're a scalper or a long term trader, they're going to have it for you and it's going to be catered to benefit you as a trader. They also have many other features like copy trading and things of that nature. And recently they just launched their own trading platform, Hanko X. So if you're interested in signing up with a new broker and you want to try a new platform and see if it's fit for you, go ahead and use my link in the description. Now let's get back into the video and show you the rest of the strategy. Okay, so we have our entry target here. We have our take profit target. Um, but what we want to make sure we do is cover, like I said, there's three zones in here. So we want to make sure we have all three of these covered. Um, anything below that doesn't really matter as much. It's about everything that's above this break line. So these three zones are going to be where there's a lot of volume. Now I'm going to quickly break down what this means when price comes into these areas, there could be a lot of sell orders coming in, a lot of people placing sells, or could also mean that a lot of people who took buys down here are selling and taking profit here, which is going to drive price down. Now, it could obviously mean the reverse too. This could mean that when price comes into here, maybe a lot of people actually want to buy price here. So there's many different meanings, but what confirms it for me is because we had this true break down to the lower side here. A lot of traders and knowledgeable traders are going to understand that price is starting to make reversal. So no one is going to want to buy in this area. This high volume area then becomes a major area for selling volume. So because these because these are pretty similar, we're going to want to place it probably somewhere in between, because if price comes up to here, there's already a good chance that price is going to bounce off of this and start selling. If it goes any higher, it's for sure going hit off there it could go even higher but chances are we have to use probability in these situations it's probably going to be somewhere in between these two before price starts moving down to the bottom there okay like i said we're going to use a three risk to reward and we are just going to go ahead and let this play out now so as we see already price immediately went up into this first zone that we marked out here and as you can see lots of selling pressure off of that um, so unfortunately, we did not get in this trade. However, we've been in such a big uptrend here that price could still move a little bit lower. So we could actually wait to see if price maybe comes back up and hits into our second zone. Looks like it might end up doing that. And as you can see right there, we ended up tapping just perfectly into our entry. And now let's see if we can go ahead and take our profit just like that. Obviously, you know, we kind of cherry picked this trade, but either way, this is just for example to show you how this works. So you learn the steps. It's a simple three step process. We have an example here that we're showing how it works. Uh, I was going to show you another two examples, but I feel like that might be too much. Let's actually go in and do some back testing and show you how this works when you're actually looking for it live. OK, so if we want to do this live here, we're going to scroll all the way out just so we don't actually see what's going on. We'll scroll all the way back just to a random time like this. We are going to hit replay mode. So now we don't know what's going to happen forward of this point. All we know right away is that we're in an uptrend. So we're already going to be looking for higher lows to get broken. So we formed a new higher low here. So we're going to wait for that to get broken. New higher low here, and we're just going to keep waiting to see if we can have a higher low get broken. OK, 
So let me pay attention to this a little closer here. What exactly do we have? So we had a higher low here. We formed a new higher low here actually. And then we just broke it. Okay. So step one, true break. We have the breakout candle and then we have a close candle that has closed below the breakout candle. So that's step one. Step two, we need to figure out where the pullback is going to happen. So we're going to look at this. <coughs> Select this area. And we need to ask ourselves, where is the most volume? We have a ton of volume right in here on the break line, a ton of volume up here, and a little bit more volume with those candles right there. Furthermore, we have a little bit of volume up here. So let's get rid of this and let's ask ourselves realistically, where is price going to go? Well, most of the volume is in this area and it looks like here has a lot of dead space up until here. So chances are we're most likely going to get in the trade somewhere around here to be safe, place our stop loss above that one just in case. And for something like this, we can go for a nice simple one to one because we have such a large stop loss. It, it's not worth going for anything bigger than a one to one. So step two, wait for a pullback. There we go. And step three, take profit. So as you can see right here, um, we had a couple taps into this first zone. As you can see, this huge wick right here means we had a lot of selling pressure off that first tap, a couple more taps kind of near it. And then right up in here is exactly where we saw price was going to sell from. And we had it sell right into our take profit. Let's see, let's let it play out even more and see if we could have seen price go a little bit lower. So it looks like after that, it ran out of all its selling pressure and we got a nice little one-to-one -one out of that. Okay, let's find two more examples for y'all. All right, so let's check out, uh, maybe we'll try EURUSD. Okay, so we'll try EURUSD, same thing. Scroll all the way out, go all the way back and just select a random time. That way we have no idea what's about to happen. Straight away, it looks like we are in a downtrend. So. In this situation, we're going to be looking for lower highs to get broken. So here's the most recent lower high. Let's see if price can break that. It does not formed a new lower high here. Let's wait for price to break that. It cannot break it. A new lower high here. Actually, we have a new one here. Let's see if we can break that new lower high here new lower high here and you're just going to keep waiting and being patient till we get a break of one of these okay so looks like we formed another new lower high here and you always go to the very top of the wick you want to make sure to go to the top of the wick oh just like that we have a breakout candle here and then a close above the breakout candle there so let's do a little reverse here back to this okay so step one is complete we have a break a true break we're going to look for a pullback now so we turn on the volume profile i select this area and then we're going to scan for areas where price could pull back to so we have that as an area here we have that as an area there we have this one and we have a lot of major volume in this area too so same thing here it's all about probability what do we want to do so do we want to get in this trade? Do we want to be a little more patient? Let's go and say for this example, we want to be a little more patient. We're going to wait for it to pull back to this middle one here. We don't want to enter too early and we are going to make sure to set our stop loss of that and our take profit here. We can go for a one to two since our stop loss is a little bit smaller than the last time. Same thing. Let this play out. And from here, it looks like we are in profit, almost in profit here. Ooh, looks like we took a big loss here. So at this point, we most likely would have set our stop loss to break even when it's that close. Probably would have taken a break even trade on this. Um, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But as you can see, you do see that when price comes into these zones, we have major buying pressure coming from here. And that's the importance of using the volume profile when looking for an entry. However, we did not land this trade. Um, for sake of the video, let's say we took a break even trade on that. Let's go and find the next example. Um, 
we already did Euro JPY actually. So we are going to go to, let's just do odd JPY or USD cat. There's a nice little pair here. So we're gonna scroll all the way down, scroll all the way back. If you guys are enjoying the video, please feel free to drop a like. Uh, hopefully I'm keeping everything simple enough for y'all to understand. Looks like we were in a nice little downtrend here and we actually had, looks like we had a break here. So for the sake of the video, let's just play it back here. Okay, so in an example like this, we had price come down and make a true break above. That's step one, true break. Hopefully I'm keeping everything simple enough for you guys to understand. Okay, so we're gonna highlight this area as per usual, and then we're gonna target a few areas like here and this major area right there. Those are only the really two areas we can actually target. And for something like this, because you see so much volume in this area, in this area, it's pretty simple. There's nothing really down here to target. So for something like this, it's a simple one of these. Oops. It's a simple one of these where you just place your entry and then your stop loss a nice amount away. And because we're only using 52 pips, we can go for something more like a one to two. And yeah, we let that play out. As you can see, I mean, we already saw just how perfect this trend is here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed and uh, let me know if you enjoy this kind of content. Please leave a like and thanks for watching.